What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. And here in this video today, I'm gonna to be talking to two groups of people. Number one, you, the person who just went through a really powerful spiritual experience. Maybe it felt like a spiritual awakening. Maybe you used uh, plant medicine or some kind of psychedelic and you're like, whoa, I experienced the truth. Now, how do I integrate this experience? And number two, I'm speaking to the person who's considering utilizing plant medicine, psychedelics, something to get them access to the bigger picture. And before doing so, you wanna make sure you have a plan to integrate that experience, which is very smart, because most people don't. And so let me just start by talking about how do I get this information and why I'm sharing it with you. And essentially, I had an experience where I went and I experienced the Bufo aloe vera toad, so 5-MeO DMT. I did a lot of it. I had a really powerful experience, an awakening, if you will. It was uh, definitely otherworldly, and people who have these experiences know what I'm talking about. It feels like there's many dimensions and everything is all connected, and we'll go deeper into that later. But anyhow, I had this experience, and after this experience, my shaman was like, okay, you know, you're done, go home. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm done, go home? Like, I just experienced God, and now you just want me to go back and live my life? And so having an experience like that, I realized that there's a massive need for integration. So the work we do after we experience God. Now, when I say experience God, I mean experience the oneness, the interconnectivity, the energy, the light, the everything that is and ever was and ever will be you and everything else and understanding the connectivity to all of it. That is what I am calling God. And so many people have these spiritual awakenings, these experiences, and they feel like they're God because they feel connected to everything. It's like, okay, I really feel this connection to a higher power and well, the truth is you are God, and so am I, and so is everyone else, because the big picture of the oneness is it's all interconnected, and that's the beautiful thing about it all. And hopefully that's like a huge download that you got through your experience utilizing whatever plant medicine or psychedelic that you just used. Now, the question becomes, how do we integrate this experience? Which comes back to my experience, where I went home and it was like I was kind of like halfway in another dimension, halfway in this present current reality, um, you know, basically feeling very ungrounded. And so for me, I'm very lucky and blessed that I had already been studying my mind. I've been doing meditation. I've been doing a lot, of, a lot, a lot of deep work for around 10 years or so before I even had that spiritual awakening, that experience, if you will. And so once I completed it, I also had someone to go to. One of my senseis I worked to for a long time, I was able to reach out to him and be like, man, I'm feeling very ungrounded. Like, I feel like I just experienced God, but I don't know how I go back living my life because if you've had this experience, it feels like nothing else is important after you've had that, right? You're like, I tasted the truth. I know the truth. And most people will just go down this spiritual rabbit hole where they just continue to just take psychedelics over and over and over again, and they'll live in that world. And so there's no judgment, you can do that. But for me, I was going into this experience to gain something. I wanted to step into a greater version of myself. And so through the work I had already done and through the help of my sensei, Sensei Clay, I was able to do this thing that he calls inner planet work, which helped me really integrate the experience and go from feeling very ungrounded, out of control, um, afraid, you know, if you've had this experience, very fearful because basically everything you knew feels like it's on very uncertainty ground and bring myself to a place where I, I was better off than when I started because that's why we go into any of these, right? We're not having psychedelic experiences. We're not doing these plant medicines. So we're the same person we were or worse before we started. We're doing them so we can integrate the experience and become a higher version of ourselves or our truer version, right? Once we experience the truth, we can channel that and our unique abilities and show up as greater versions of ourselves with not just contributing more to the world, but just having a better emotional experience on an everyday basis. And so I'm gonna share with you what that integration looked like for me and I'm also gonna make it available for you because this is very meaningful for me personally. This was about a six month process of 
integrating my experience. And when I went through this, there was no blueprint for it. Like I said, my shaman was like, okay, go, right? Go home. I had like a two and a half hour drive to go back to my apartment. And I was like, um, I feel like I need like some homework or some kind of like advice here, but it wasn't there. And so it took me six months to basically put together an integration program that at first of all, I just used for myself so I could ground myself and then gain control over how I felt which thus led to me gaining control over how I was behaving and then what I was creating in my life. And so now I wanna take this same template and make it available for you. So first off, I made a workbook that will literally walk you step-by-step step through this. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the first line description. Um, this workbook is literally what I use to go through my integration, so please do it. Um, there's not a lot of like spiritual language in this because it's actually something that I work with all my clients on, uh, but it's perfect for someone who just went through a very intense psychedelic experience because what happens is during this experience, you take a quantum shift in your energy, which allows you to reprogram your subconscious a lot easier than the average person would be. So that's really beneficial to someone who has integration to do and if you're intentional about it. Otherwise, you feel like, oh, you feel like very out of control, right? So I wanna give you something that you can actually do to ground yourself and then really solidify what is a new reality that you are stepping into, right? And so I'm gonna walk you through these eight levels of integration. Again, the workbook's down below and if you want a deeper dive, I also offer this uh, course, which I will take you step-by-step step through the program, video modules, community, all that good stuff. So that's also linked up in the description below. So here it is. The first step, once you go through this integration process, is you gotta do the hard work that you came there for. If you're gonna go through that ceremony, you're gonna go through this experience, then the first place you should start from there is taking this malleable subconscious state and starting to move your unconscious to the conscious level. And so that really just happens through broadening your awareness. And so an exercise I tell uh, you to do within this workbook to help with this integration is to just write down your emotional experience every three hours and then write down what you were focusing on that brought you that emotional experience. And so by doing so, this is a second iteration in this awakening process because you're not just leaving it in the plant ceremony. No, now you're taking it to a real world application and you're pulling out all of the things that are creating a reality. And so you bring awareness to how you make yourself feel different emotions by documenting every three hours your emotional experience and what you're focusing on, right? Because you may notice that you put yourself in environments all the time that make you feel bad. Or maybe you notice that whenever you do certain things, you feel good. And so this is an educational process, an awakening process to how you should be positioning yourself in your life. How do you integrate back into the world better than you were before you started? Now, once you start to gain this awareness and the unconscious starts to become conscious and you can start to see, oh, I need to change that. Oh, I should do more of that. Then you can start to train your focus. And so after you've done that for a week, the second week starts with taking that first exercise to the next level. So every three hours you should have alarms going off in your phone, but now when they do, acknowledge the emotional experience, acknowledge what you're focusing on, and if you're focusing on what you don't want, you're gonna write down what you do want. And what this is doing is it's training your brain while it's in this very malleable state after this experience to start to shift into a new repetitive pattern. So instead of focusing on what you don't want, you're training your brain to focus on what you do want. And you only do that through the repetition of an alarm goes off, I have a bad feeling, I notice what I'm focusing on, and I focus on the opposite, which creates a good feeling. Now, if you feel good, then you're good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You just leave it alone, you don't have to do anything. But this is how you extract a lot of the ways that you make yourself feel bad. A lot of it has to do with your focus, and this is a part of the awakening process. Now, once you've gone through level two, level three is all about, okay, I'm entering a new reality. What kind of reality do I wanna experience across the board, right? 
You went into this for a reason. Do you want better relationships? Do you need help with finances? Do you want more purpose and career? Do you want to be more happy? Do you need to work on your health? Whatever it is, that visioning exercise helps you get clarity, 100% clarity. This is the new reality I'm stepping into. You're choosing it. And this is the first step in actually becoming a conscious creator of your reality instead of just being someone who is having life happen to them. Instead, you are becoming someone who is creating life. So once you've established that visioning, the next step we're going to go into is aligning your subconscious programs with this new clear vision you have for your life. Because as long as you have programming, and specifically we're talking about beliefs that don't align with what you say you want, you're going to keep experiencing the same reality. You're not going to get what you want. So through those exercises that I give you, you're going to start to extract the limiting beliefs, get that shit out of here, and you're going to replace them with empowering beliefs that align with the vision that you say you want for your life. Once you've gotten through that, you'll move on to actually doing things. This is something that a lot of people miss in the law of attraction, a lot of people miss in the spiritual community in general, which is you got to do the thing which is you start to implement the habits, which also live on the subconscious level. What habits are necessary to create the vision that you want to step into? And so this all is a deepening of your awakening process. As you can see, you're becoming aware of the unconscious, making it conscious. You're directing your focus. You're choosing a new vision. You're empowering that vision with the right beliefs and programming. And now you're empowering it even more with the right actions and actions you do repeatedly, AKA habits. Now, once you've completed that, you move on to starting to build your confidence and supreme confidence just comes through experience. So you start to put yourself in situations where you stretch yourself to start to do more, be more and by stretching yourself, putting yourselves in those uncomfortable situations, you begin to gain more confidence. And then once we get to level seven, we start to ask ourselves, okay, how do we make this stick for the long haul? All right, all this stuff seems to be great. I'm starting to step into this new reality, but what happens when adversity hits? What happens when there's an obstacle and I keep running into it? Well, this is where you start to build your mental strength. You use tools like meditation, like breath work, like yoga, to basically move you over, around, or through whatever resistance is coming out for you so you can continue to move forward. Because at the end of the day, if you want to make that vision reality, a huge part of it is just consistency. And that consistency comes from mental resilience and mental resilience comes from, well, doing everything you've done earlier in the training, the first six levels, and then starting to incorporate other tools that are going to help you push through those hard times, things like meditation, breath work, things of that sort. Finally, when you get to level eight, you get to this beautiful place where you realize that life is an infinite game and we are here to connect to the oneness the god the everything we just experienced and we are also here to facilitate a sense of mastery within ourselves we all have these unique abilities and so what are we doing here right the purpose of life the meaning of life is just to be right you are god god is all around us so we know that like hey you don't have to do anything to be enough but if you want to make this a joyful experience of life, remember you do have unique abilities. And so level eight is understanding that you can channel those unique abilities through you and you can start to gain mastery over them. And that becomes your infinite game for the rest of your life. So I know I ran through all that stuff really quickly, but the full workbook is down in the description below. It's free. Just put your email in on my website. I'll send it right over to you. And I just want to make this available to everyone. I mean, I see people posting YouTube videos who claim to be God. People are going through crazy spiritual awakenings experiences, and it seems like they really struggle to integrate it, to not just live in that ultra spiritual place, but actually be able to kind of embody it and uh, transmute that energy into making it uh, just a part of an enjoyable life because you can go back to the well as many times as you want, do spiritual work. You could go and do tons of plant ceremonies, ayahuasca, 5-MeO-DMT. I've done all these things. Mushrooms are all beautiful because they get you, give you that taste of God. But if you don't do the integration work afterwards, then nothing is going to change. You have this experience and you're just going to go back to living the life you were before. 
The beautiful part about utilizing these plant medicines is that they put you in a malleable state. They give you the opportunity to reprogram your subconscious mind. And so this integration exercise, these eight levels I've laid out for you, help you reprogram your subconscious to align with feeling happy consistently, feeling good, and achieving success in the areas of your life you care about most because life is a game. So treat it like the infinite game that it is. Okay, that's all I wanted to share in this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Again, resources in the description. Uh, my name is Brandon Epstein. I appreciate you. If you want to reach out to me personally, I have my other social media links in the description as well. Thank you and uh, go do the work to live a beautiful life.